Welcome everyone. Today's topic is coordinating with your utility. We have a really exciting panel for you all today. A few things that you should know when coordinating with your utility. First is who is your utility contact? This is sort of the first step in building your team is who is actually that teammate that will be joining us. Maybe you don't have a key account manager or maybe you're not a school district of the size that would require that type of role. Um, there's a few other ways to go about coordinating with your utility. And I think this is the most common that we see across utilities are what we call make ready programs. And these are programs specifically designed to help fleets or help customers um, install electric vehicle charging equipment and go through the process of actually getting that on site. When is the best time for a school district to contact their utility about electric school bus infrastructure? All right, so <laughs> early and often. So as soon as you start thinking about doing school buses, contact your utility, right? And then often and come back to them as many times as possible. And why? Well, one, you wanna know what type of power you have coming into your facility, right? Is it gonna be able to accommodate the, the vehicle you might wanna order, right? So some of the school buses require you do, to do a level three charger and some uh, you, you don't have to do level three. So if you're at level three, you wanna make sure you have phase three power coming to your facility, right? We really would like to brainstorm with you on what your five or 10 year plan is. Is this just a pilot where you're really thinking about getting one or two buses or are you really looking at full electrification because with our infrastructure, as Brody was saying, it doesn't always necessarily go fast. Some of that is for supply chain reasons like transformers are a bit in short supply right now. Uh, DTE will be using a unique pay as you save financial model to basically pay for the portion of an electric bus that is the battery and for an electric bus that's the most expensive, uh, most expensive component and if DTE covers the cost of that battery, then the remainder of the bus suddenly becomes comparable to what you might expect for a diesel bus. Electric vehicles generally have lower operating costs than diesel buses because um, diesel is kind of a, a kind of volatile price and electricity prices are generally much more stable and um, lower than uh, uh, than fossil fuels. And from there, then we'll pull in our low voltage distribution engineers to look at your property to say where's the cheapest place we can drop some poles or put a transformer for a new service and then work with you uh, long term because maybe you've got other ideas for that portion of your property later on and the more we know that the better we can avoid rework together later. If you ever have any questions um, or or ever want to get a hold of us um, you can reach out to us at the school bus team at calstart.org and we'll make sure to get you in contact with the right person that can answer any questions you may have.